Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to my let's play of Stellaris uniting the galaxy in a hegemony. We in the last episode managed to finish the war against the Juberin Foundation which had, well they angered us early and we just keep taking away their territory. At this point the species I think makes up the greater portion of my culture by 80, they have 80 to our 43. I do want to make them full citizens at some point to, well, to, you know, make them happier and, and integrate them into our society. But right now, they're different enough from us. I don't know that we want to give them political rights. I just, I don't think we want to get involved in that. So for now, we'll leave them with just residency rights to our, our place. Even they, they double our population so they could just take over if we're not careful. And yeah, so we are just trying to stabilize. We have food, money, and consumer good issues. Our empire is anything but stable. We do actually need to change. So what am I doing? I'm changing this into another bureaucracy world, which might be unnecessary to have two. So one of these, only one of these will become that. This mining world is currently an alloy production facility. I might change that into consumer goods. And I'm going to do that right now. We do need a planet. Like, it's a good planet to dedicate to that. But we just don't... There's so much alloy production everywhere. It's ridiculous. Whoever was running this... Whoever was running this had some interesting ideas about how to make planets. I'm just thinking... Do I want to get ally production on here? This is a pretty general world. See, we also need to start generating crystal. Oh, there's too much to do and these planets are too strangely built. Let's replace one of these with... Consumer industries. You know what? No, let's let's do both. We need to stabilize our planet for now. We can change this back later if we want, but for now we just need to stabilize. We need to get food going. Complete. Uh, we need to let's build another one of these. I think we're not actually we're not utilizing it all. So let's do that. Birth of the Galactic Community. So this is a thing we, we agreed to at the very end of our last episode. So now there is a galactic community where everyone uh, can come together to, to vote on rules that the galaxy must follow. And to begin with, there's not a lot of power behind it. So you can see everyone's diplomatic weight. We are middling at 500. The highest here is the uh, Tyrell Combine down here with 700, so they're doing very well for themselves. I feel like we're missing one species, like over here. It seems weird though. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's two species out there we haven't seen. Uh, so we can pass the resolutions, right? No one has anything so there's a senate because there's this you know a senate situation you'll see supporters opponents when things are when the senate is in session which it is in recess for 716 days and here are all the resolutions we can pass and there's there's tons of stuff we're not gonna go through it so much but it tends to move towards uh it tends to move towards like more centralized control as well i'm pretty sure and I, I haven't re messed with this quite as much as the federations. I've done a lot with the federations and a lot less with the galactic community. But I'm pretty sure I was reading that you can use this to basically take over the world like uh, Emperor Palpatine and Star Wars did to the Republic. So that is really cool. You know, and you can do things like sanctions. So if, you know, we create rules here on things that have to be followed. For example, collective waste management kind of trying to protect things a little bit better, right? If a system is against that, then we can have sanctions, which right now, if someone in the galactic community disobeys with the rules of the galactic community, there's no consequences. But we can make it so there's economic sanctions. We can have 
political sanctions, science sanctions, all sorts of stuff. But the very first thing we want to do is come to technology. And I think we want to propose, oh, I just did it. So I hope we did. Yeah, so it improves science for slightly more costing star bases and increases the technical weight from technology, which is very good. That will help us in our, in our federation. There's a lot of these we're going to want to work towards eventually. The galactic market would be a good one. We can't, we can't recommend to. So once this one goes through, we will then try and propose the galactic market, which we will want to take control of. And we'll get into more details of that when we get closer to that as an option. So we are one more year in. If you recall, I want to get a... A, the right to attack these people and vassalize them. I am worried they will eventually become stronger than me, so I want to do it early. Now, I'm pretty sure it's a 10-year... We, we have the right... Like, we, we keep the right... Let me back up. I'm not sure I'm explaining this well. well you When you demand vassalization, they could just join you and become your vassal. They right now have minus 951 to it. They just hate us. They don't want to be our vassals. But when you demand it and they say no, you now have the claim or a claim on their empire to become vassals. So you can attack them and forcibly vassalize them, which is what we want to do. And I think it's 10 years. So we're going to, because we've waited two years, at 49 and we'll have to be very careful and i'll probably miss this we'll have to be very careful to attack them as soon as we can but i think this will last for the 10 years so let's do this we demand it oh you said no shocking <laughs> they closed their borders on us so now we have the right to go to war with them all for it and we're just going to hopefully still have that when we get there. Or we'll still be powerful enough that it doesn't matter. Now, how are we doing for stabilizing our planet? Not secured. fantastic in the grand scheme of things. Construction complete. Okay, so many. Yep, yeah, we know. Yep, yeah, we don't care. Yep, we know. More technology. So we got our admin cap boost. Excellent. Our empire sprawl is under control. That is a, a fantastic gain. Now we need to kind of get everything else under control. Do we want terraforming tech? Sure, let's get terraforming tech. We're not really in a position to do it, but let's grab it. We're turning those into civilian industries, which will help. We are turning one of those into a precinct. Let's turn the other one into a power generation booster which we haven't unlocked yet so we won't do that which is unfortunate we are going to add a generator district here we're going to add a generator district here actually we don't need both those so we'll not change one of them we do need those don't need to do anything there yet this planet would also be a good place. We don't... Oh, we do need to change both of those. That's fine. We're going to add a generated district here. We could put a third generated district here. We don't really have the people. And I could throw a generated district here. I'm putting a few too many... We're going to do it. We can change it later. I'm putting a few too many districts other than city districts on my home planet. I like the home planet being, you know, a massive sprawl, but it just it is what it is. And it's not ideal. This one has un we'll grab a generated district here as well, because there's unemployed workers, which is great. We definitely need the police because we got to get the 46 percent crime rate under control. That's just bad. Okay, now we just need to wait for things to build. We, we really need to stabilize everything. 
Where's all our power going? 77 into buildings, 62 into districts. The armies are taking it up. Leaders are taking it up. Where's our armies? Do we disband them? We're not going to use them for a while. I don't want to disband them though. I could, but I don't want to. I don't want to compromise on anything. That is unacceptable. No compromise. We're out of money again. We don't have tons of minerals to sell, but we're going to sell what we can. Star system charged. What do we got here? We have a new tradition. Can we get anything that will help us? Build ships faster? No. Star bases stronger? No. We really should concentrate on one, but what do we got over here? We have larger naval capacity. Doesn't matter to us. We get better trade. Trade might help. Only 10%, but it might help. But I feel like we should focus in. How much do we make from trade? We make 43 from trade. So 10% of 43 is going to be... Not a lot, like... My brain is working like four more energy credits, three more energy credits, something like that. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's not tons. Let's just grab ships build faster. Actually, you know what we can do? Policy. Nope, sorry. Edicts. Let's spend some of our influence because we have a decent amount built up. We're going to do farming uh, subsidies. So we will gain plus 20 to food production. And we're going to grab... Isn't one of these give us energy credits? Information quarantine would be good too, because we really need to promote our government. None of these will help that. That's okay. So let's grab farming and information quarantine. That should help us a little bit. 42 to 25. So food is better. Oh, we lost the subjugation one. Okay, we'll have to do it closer to when we can go to war with them then. That's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll come to that. Still unemployment. So let's grab another generator district there. Still unemployment here. Oh, it's specialist unemployment. I'm going to grab a generator district anyway. We need to get that under control. We also need food under control, but we need a... We need a lot of things right now. Yeah, false specialists. But we got our crime rate under control. People aren't super happy. Technology secured. I wonder if our trade route... What do we got here for technology? We'll grab the planet building speed because we're re rebuilding our planet a lot. We're about to lose all our money again. It'd be interesting if we bankrupt my country. We'll spend our minerals again. Boost that back up. What are we building here? Generator, generator, generator. Trying to get this under Star control. Star system charted. Let's grab a food one over here as well. Okay, Senate is in session. Almost everyone is supporting the improvement to trade. Oh no, someone overruled me. So the item with the most support is the item that will go into the Senate next. And I didn't notice that this one uh, came along and had more support. So... Let me take a look at this. I'm I'm curious. It's the globe one. Interesting. So basically, we all benefit from reducing waste and reusing what we can. Sharing recycling protocols between the nations of the galactic community will help us. So trying to protect the, the galaxy, which means people population consume less consumer goods. Good for us. 
play a block of time is harder. So you pl we talked about this long ago. Planets have natural barriers on them and you got to remove them. That's fine. We can live with that. The economy having less diplomatic weight, that's maybe less ideal for us. But, well, that's okay. We will support it because the consumer good right now will be helpful. What else are they recommending? Someone's recommending the Guardian Angels Act, which reduces your diplomatic weight from your fleet power by 20%. Defensive armies are stronger and army upkeep is lower. We don't want that. We will oppose that. We are military species. Form the galactic market. This is the one I wanted to propose, so we will support that. And the ready to shield. This is the opposite. This is the one that gives you more from fleet power, higher naval capacity, but ships cost more. We will support it because it will be a long time before that goes in. One of our planets has stability issues. This Jub. 20%. So what is not enough amenities? Let's turn one of these alloy factories into... We don't have the minerals. Let's Tactical wait a bit. Retreat. And we're going to turn it into... That's one of my science ships retreating from something they found. That's fine. We are going to create a hollow theater on this planet and make people happy. Soon as we have the resources. Hollow Theater, where are you? Bam. We'll have to get alloy production back up again at some point, but it's just not... There are plenty of other priorities that are, are problems right now. And actually, maybe what we should do... No, I think we're gonna leave... We'll, we'll leave that for now. Okay, energy again, we'll sell some alloys. We really destabilized our, our empire here. Where's our construction ship? Maybe... This is five energy credits on it. So let's build a star base here and get those five energy credits. Anything else that we can take that has a lot of energy? I don't see anything... All oh, that fantastic. Consumer goods are going to become a problem for us. I mean, food's going to become a problem for us. We have a few problems coming for us. That's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Need to start focusing our tech on things that help the Tono Empire, I think. We've been military for so long, and then we just suddenly had five planets to look after. Are we really surprised it went wrong? No. It's just unfortunate. What about allies want to have an overwhelming desire to help us? I could kick them from the Federation. I do not want to do that. Okay, new research. Stall holds would be nice. Better robots would be good. Actually, we really should get robot production going just to get population out. Let's grab that. Let's do it. Do I have any place I could do that? I have... I'm over the cap. Let's turn one of these admin places. And I just keep shuffling these around. I know. But let's turn one of these... Or do I want synthetic crystal production? There's too much I want, and none of these planets are built the way I want. We're going to take you. We're going to keep dropping out ally production, which is not ideal. We're going to replace you with a synthetic crystal plant, which will be great. And then we're going to replace you with... What was my plan here? I had a plan. I thought it was brilliant, and the plan is no longer in my... We want robots. It's okay. We need another 200 minerals. That's fine. We're getting those Technology quickly enough. Secured. Tech. Great. Physics. What do we got? None of these help us. Now we'll grab the FTL inhibitors so that people can't zoom past our star bases. What are we... Still got unemployed. That's fine. Complete. You built that. So this change replace. We want robots being produced. 
we're gonna zoom in here we don't have the money to do everything so we specifically want to build wait where's my constructor we specifically want the energy credits that is our goal from that place communications you want a migration treaty do i want to just accept that now no i don't don't want to spend the influence I'm spending a lot of influence on various things right now. How are our species doing? They still outnumber us so much. I would get a lot happier people if I got rid of this. But they use less amenities. Interesting. So they're using less consumer goods. So we don't want to change that. That would be unfortunate. Another tradition. We're gonna we're gonna focus. We're going to focus like I said we should focus. We will grab Maw Fleet. And Ad Admiral Levo leaders can be better. Construction complete. Doesn't immediately help us. It does help us. Okay, so that's all in order. We're going to start producing robots, which is useful. We can start sending them out to uh, mine things. We're actually going to want to get robots being built on a lot of our planets like the farming planet we will really want robots there we may even focus robots here as soon as we get a building we'll build a robot construction one and we'll Recon focus them in on food under attack more research vessels under attack blah, blah, blah. Vessel under attack yep we don't mind. It's all good. So this now has an open slot, and that's great. We have two specialized unemployments. So what do we need? We need food, power, and consumer goods. We might want a crystal factory. The reason I'm thinking that is with the crystal factory, we can go about and upgrade our civilian industries everywhere, which we need to improve because we have issues with consumer goods robot factory for more people on the planet that would help out what is the other option we will need exotic gases at some point or we just build another civilian industry and start producing 12 more civilian goods let's do that we have one of the others going I feel like at some point I'm going to just spend like thousands of resources completely rebuilding these planets because I'm just, they've never built the way I wanted and I'm just scraping them back together to something. Our main planet, our main planet has more people than they have the ability to do stuff. So it would be great if we could upgrade these, which we don't have the crystals. What would it cost to grab 50 crystals? It would cost 600 power. We have power issues, but we have other issues. Let's do it. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to upgrade one of these on my capital planet, where we have the people who can work. There's unemployment issues there. Not great. Receiving communications. Nope. No migration treaties. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be your friends, but no migration treaties. Do we want to join? Wait, could we do? No. All right, well, we're so much stronger than them. I was like, can we make them into vassals as well? Can we invite them into the Federation? They still won't accept. They probably never will unless we vassalize them. Which is fine. We can vassalize them. But I think that's a good place to start. And by start, I mean stop. Uh, we need to continue stabilizing our empire. It's a lot better. We're losing very little food now. Half, over half the power loss is gone. And consumer goods are stabilizing. So we're, we're getting there slowly. And in the next episode, it will probably be... With the way time's going, that was about, what, six episodes? So I'm going to guess that in the next episode, we'll probably continue to stabilize our empire and then vassalize these jerks next to us. And I think that'll be really good, good for us at any rate. So thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode.